she sends me cute pictures. This was her, I uh, guess, waking up the other day. And uh, then I'll scroll, I'll scroll quick by this one. But then there was uh, that one. Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh God. First we'll do like the cute innocent ones. I'll show you this and you can tell me if you can figure out what it is. So this is picture one I sent to my wife. It's a bento box. And then what? picture two. So this was this was because um, Laura wanted to go um, see a friend upstate and take a couple days sort of off from the last five months of being home with the kids. So she did and, and um, yesterday was Cleo's, she went to this cute little summer day camp and of course, Laura was bummed that she was missing it. So I told her I would send her all the pictures. So that, that was the lunch that I made and it shows what, what it started with and then what was consumed. So that gives her an idea of kind of exactly how much our daughter ate for lunch, which I thought was cute. Aww. Here, this was also, this was a sandwich. Oh, let's see. I have messages from Gordon saying, I miss you, looking forward to tonight because we were going to watch movies and he got me an icy machine. So Ooh. we watched movies and had ices and he made burgers and it was amazing. Um, and then I have a missed FaceTime from him and a text from this morning saying, what did you want earlier? <laughs> so I called him earlier and he was half asleep. So he wants to know what did I want? What I wanted was attention. I'll scroll quick by this one, but then there was uh, that one. Oh! oh. <laughs> the problem is I can't send discreet, unidentifiable photos because in some ways I think my my torso is like my most identifiable feature. Oh, just my chest hair is so specific, right. yeah. Yep, agreed. And yep. I don't need that circulating. Mm -hmm.